I'm Salman Jone, and I'm an associate professor of medicine at Jefferson Medical College here in Philadelphia, where I um, belong to the pulmonary division, but mostly um, run the history of medicine course, the physical diagnosis course, uh, and actually a Jefferson movie club uh, for our students. Well, in the field of physical exam, there is nothing new because it's a very old field, but on the other hand, the new is in the past in the sense that uh, with our uh, infatuation with technology, these time-honored skills have become almost passé. And the new is that uh, there's been a body of evidence showing that they're still valid for the 21st century physician, and yet they're being discarded. So the new is literally trying to revisit the field and trying to make sure that we don't throw away the baby with the proverbial bathwater. In fact, one of the problems, I think, of physical exam is that in order to save everything, risks losing everything. There are some aspects of physical exam that clearly are without validation and should be abandoned. Um, and the emphasis on these parts is what turns off a lot of students and a lot of practitioners. What uh, has happened over the past few years is that there has been again a, a winnowing of the chaff and an emphasis on uh, the wheat. And so in many ways my book was a little bit like that. It was an attempt to make um, very important certain aspects of the physical exam in a style that might have been engaging and almost funny and entertaining at least, uh, but still uh, serious enough to deliver important information. Um, and that's basically what I normally do when I give my talks and what I try to do in the book. So to revisit a field that has been around for 200 years, uh, there is struggling. Um, Bernie Laun, who got a Nobel Prize for Peace, even though he was one of the inventors of the defibrillator, said that today's physicians are more interested in laying on tools rather than hands. And so that's very true, and um, physical exam has been a casualty of that. So what is important for the 21st century physician that still need to be taught and emphasized? And if that's the case, how can we do it in a way that is engaging and entertaining? I think it's, again, uh, not as much the revisiting of important skills because that has been the emphasis of the latest books, but it's been probably the attempt to make it engaging and entertaining. In fact, actually the comments I received is that it was one of the most fun books uh, to read. Um, what I mean by that is that uh, I'm convinced that people learn better when they're entertained, uh, they retain better. So I, I use a style that very much does that, and at the same time, I try to anchor skills and findings uh, that, of course, can become dry otherwise around people, famous people that had them. So I always try for each finding that we cover in the book uh, to identify somebody famous, whether a celeb or a historical figure that might have had it, and then trying to anchor that finding to it. I find that people retain things a little bit more easily and also they get uh, entertained in the process. That's what I do in my talks and that's what I try to do in the book. I think they are a tremendous resource. The problem is, again, it's too much. And sometimes too much of a good thing, despite what Mae West used to say, is not wonderful because it's overwhelming. So the need for us is to, I think, make sure that the information uh, is appropriate, is accurate, is correct. Uh, and so in the end, it's a guidance to the jungle because it's really a, an ocean of information. And I think that will be eventually provided, but it's a wonderful resource, and it's the future. That's where we're going to be. Well, the experience has been terrific. Um, why it's actually uh, not intentional? Uh, my book originally came out uh, as part of the publications of a company that eventually got acquired by Elsevier. So almost by default, I found myself at Elsevier. But clearly, the experience uh, in terms of dealing with the staff and the support has been wonderful.